gentlemen. Now, Desmond and his wife, Tanisha, are married three years. They have three beautiful children. Aww. The problem? Well, Desmond says Tanisha is obsessed with being white. Aww. In fact, Tanisha moved her family from Chicago to rural Iowa to get away from her black neighborhood. Now, she even wears a blonde wig and blue contacts to blend in around town. But <laughs> worst of all, Desmond suspects his wife is secretly having an affair with a white sugar daddy. Now, here's a glimpse into the mindset of Tanisha. Almost three years ago, I decided to move from Chicago to Iowa to escape the black community. I decided the lifestyle of the white community in Iowa was the way I wanted to live. I don't care for the black race. I think the white race is more educated, civilized, and sophisticated. I'm embarrassed to be black. I want the white race to embrace me and treat me as if I was white, because I think and I act white. My family thinks that I should be ashamed of myself because I think and I act white but I'm not going to be who they want me to be. Because when I'm with them, I have to act ghetto, and I hate it. My husband and my cousins think that I have a white sugar dad, but I don't. He's just a good friend that takes care of me. I think white men are better providers, and if I was with one, I would have a different life. Wow. Desmond, does Tanisha talk like that at home or act like that? Yeah, she does. She done lost her mind. She thinks she Malibu Barbie. She wears that? She wears the wig, yes. And the blue contacts? And the blue contacts. What do you think of that? She done lost her damn mind. <laughs> Period. So, how come you moved from Chicago to uh, Iowa, then? She want to be around white folks. I don't know. I don't understand why we from Chicago. The, middle of the city, you know, nothing but ghetto, nothing but black folks. And there's nothing wrong. I have nothing, no problem with white folks. Now, Chicago has the third largest black population in the nation, while the remote Iowa town, Tanisha and Desmond now call home, has approximately 200 black people total. If. Um, so what, what is this with this white sugar daddy guy? What, what's going on I there? don't know. She claimed he's just a friend, but I, I, I'm not... I'm not 100% for sure what's going on. Is she getting money from him? Yeah, she getting money from him. How I much? Give it to her. How much? I couldn't about? tell you how much it is. She said she believes her life would be different, I'm guessing better, if she was married to a white man. Is, is that a concern for you, being... I think she need to go find one then. <laughs> Isn't it? But that, it, I, I'm gonna be honest. It must I, be I, painful. I, you, you're working hard. Yes, every day. Take care of our kids and her. <laughs> Very much, very much. Does she go out on she her She does, she does, and I, I, I don't have no problem with her going out. It's just that, uh, you know, you can't be... The people that she kicks with is only white folks. If we having to get together at the house, her friends come in, and then she makes sure they're gone before the family comes. What? Yeah, that's crazy. So she has two sittings, one for the white folk or yeah, one for the yeah, colored Yeah, ain't that crazy? We're gonna meet her, and I know some parts of your family, like, like her cousins, don't agree with how she's feeling. Now, nobody do. We all feel the same way. She, she crazy. She lost her damn mind. <laughs> I think now we should actually meet Tanisha, don't you? Yeah! Find out why she feels like this. Let's welcome Tanisha. Come on out. <laughs> Malibu Barbie. Malibu Barbie here. So, Tanisha. Yes. If you could be born again, what color would you be born? All white. Why? Why? White is beautiful. White is pure. So black ain't beautiful? Black is beautiful, so black beautiful. if Thanks. you make it. But what? the way it is now, blacks are turning their color horrible. Making a bad look for their self. about black people, the black people that you've come across so far back in Ch uh, Chicago for us. I mean, where I come from, mm -hmm. blacks are killing each other. I live in Chirac. It is horrible there. I cannot raise my three daughters, our daughters, in a place where I don't feel comfortable, safe, and I don't feel like that's a place where I would want to raise my kids, our kids. I get that, but what, what the, whole, the whole thing, anti-black, would you call yourself racist against black people? Yes. No. Oh, yes? Just think about it. All right. You can have anything around blacks. If they see you with it, they want it. You can't... 
Do you think your life so would be better if you were married to a white guy? I mean, my life would be different. In what way? We probably would have had a better house. We probably would have had a better car right now. You know, his credit scores probably would be super high right now. Yes, you, you, indeed. You are crazy, credit yo. scores. You, you are literally crazy. Okay, I am crazy. I'm, you can call me whatever, uh, but to be honest okay. with you, I'm being who I think are you, that... Do you feel, who you think, right? Can you I just ask you? No, do I'm you feel uncomfortable with our, our audience? We have so many black people in the audience. Does mm. that worry you at all? No, because there's security here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 Are you serious? Security. Are you serious? Security. Security. I'm fine. Just security. Settle down, ghetto rats. <laughs> she said it right. I'm glad, glad you think it's funny. Are you, are you worried about me? Are you worried I might come over and mug you or something? Or uh, am I okay? The no, way she acts, you would think no, so, but don't I, I'm interested in... in um, uh, I don't feel any intimidation towards you. you well, are, why am uh, I different? Just the way you talk. It's oh, the English accent. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is that what you wow. see as a, a white accent? Yes. It sounds very good. I feel safe around you. You hear this? She feels safe around you and don't even know you. <laughs> okay, let, let's look serious for a moment. Now, this sugar daddy of yours. This... I, I don't have a sugar daddy. Well, I don't know. He gives you money for what? I clean up this man's house. He's an older man. Okay. And I go and I clean up, okay? What you cleaning in his bedroom, man? No, I'm not. That's what you're cleaning. You cleaning does he, does he ever... Can I ask you if he... I'm not even finna answer that. That is, that is just how the most money, silly... How much money... How much money does he give you? Ain't nobody gonna be giving you money He gives me a lot of money, yo. but that's Period. the most silliest thing you ever could've said. How much? He gives... How I don't have to ask him for anything, first of all. A man knows when you need something and you don't have to ask for it. So, I did never ask that you man for You ain't asked me one... for nothing either. I pay rent. Exactly. Oh, you don't exactly. ask for Exactly, that's what I said. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I pay bills, you don't oh, ask for it. A real man, I clothed all the kids, you don't ask for it. He knows. Can if I I'm... ask what, when you, what sort of things he's I clothed you, you don't ask for it. This wig, I bought it, even though I don't like it, but I bought it. ever cheat on my husband, okay? You love him. I love him. The one thing I haven't asked you is why do you wear that blonde wig? I mean... She crazy. Just think about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's no black girl in this audience have never, when they was a child, ever not wanted to have long, pretty, blonde hair. That's you can lie, crazy, you can lie and say that all you want, but the first doll, the first dog on doll your mother bought you was a white doll. You call hey. that hair Every single doggone day, and you wish your hair was that long and pretty. So now I'm able to wear it, and I'm gonna flaunt it. All right. So now, Psycho. one thing that your cousins say is that you kind of are you embarrassed about your cousins? Yes. yes. Why? Why? They are ghetto. What happens when they come to your parties that you have with all these white folk? Do they mix with that? No, be... I did that before and it didn't turn out right. Why? So now you live she, and you she learn. She sits them out that. I told you, the white folks party first. You live in And life. then the rest of the family exactly. well, What's wrong with your with cousins being there? How do they act? They want to take food home. People can't come and eat. So as soon as they, as soon as they get there, black folks always. Hang on, hang on, let's hear this. Hang on, what are you saying? Hey, hey, black let's listen. Yes. Every time they come over, they got to take a plate home for their cousin, their auntie. They, they don't even live with none of them. They got to take food home food. every time they come over we to my house. Food. And then when my guests come, Everybody there's to nothing eat. to eat. I'm not, I don't have they time. Drink? They your guests, they, 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 it's for everybody. Exactly, eat you while you're there. If you come back, you, you miss the food, house. period. Don't take no food out of my house. Do they drink? Yeah, they will drink you up under the house in the home, do you understand me? And not put on That's anything. That's called partying. Do they make you embarrassed? Of course, every time we go in to any club or anything, they got a problem. Want to dance all nasty, all on the floor, popping. Who does that? Who well, it's called having fun. It's called having fun. Okay, they having now. fun. It's about classiness. It they're, they're not really classy is. enough. All yeah, right, well, really. as you know, Cousin Sherry and Koshorna are here to set Tanisha straight. And we're... <laughs> now... <laughs> the other thing, the other thing that Tanisha is here to do, she's done a lie detector test, because what did you want to find out? Uh, what's really going on with this sugar daddy? Okay. <laughs> Is she, really, is she really cleaning the bathrooms or cleaning up in the bedroom? Okay. <laughs> we'll reveal Please. the results of the lie detector, too, so stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we're talking.
speaking with Desmond and his wife, Tanisha, who admits she's racist against her own race and she wishes she were white. In fact, Desmond suspects she's been having an affair with an older white man she met after moving the family from Chicago to a white community in Iowa. Now, Tanisha also admits she's embarrassed about her black relatives, including her cousins, Sherry and Koshorna. Do you, do you hide them away? You can't hide nothing about them. Why can't you hide them? Because they're loud. As soon as they come out here, I bet you they start screaming and hollering and acting all crazy. Oh, this and that, putting their fingers all in your face. Sweetheart, you don't have to do all of that to get your point across. We're going to meet your cousin Sherry and uh, Kashorna. So please welcome Sherry and Kashorna. Context, boo boo. Okay, we have more so? education than you do. Okay. Stop trying to use because the word is not Pacific, it's hey, Pacific. Hey. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on. First of all, no one comes to your house and eat up all the food that you hardly know how to prepare. Second of all, you treat us like Rosa Parks. You make us get to the back of the line and you feed your white friends first. Exactly. It's pitiful, Tanisha. Snap no, out of it. No, it's not. Please, because, nobody want to eat your food. Before. Every we... time I invite y'all over, you sit there, you got to feed yourself three or four times. We bought the food. Let somebody else eat. We bought the food. No, you don't want to eat. You don't want to eat. Hey, uh, ladies, hi. Welcome. welcome. This, this girl makes no, an egg sandwich and leave eggshells in it. No. You ate it. You ate it. You ate it and was spitting it. No. Now, which ones? Let me ask you, which one's which? Your Kashana. Kashana, I love your hair. What do you think of her hair? She needs to go back to Africa, yeah. Jamaica, oh. Haitian, whatever Haiti, go back there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Let me give you something. To the roots, because let really? me tell you yeah. something. You know what this right here symbolizes? This symbolizes self-confidence. Yeah. Her confident. No. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying. Oh, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, okay, just a minute. What about, what about now? Uh, what about your, your hair's great. That's the, surely that stars. How old are you again? She's How still rocking ponytails. Okay. You have blue contact. Exactly. Are you serious? Exactly. Because I'm a blonde. I look good in it. I are you good? Good? What you need to do is bleach your drawers, bleach your socks, not bleach your hair. Really? Okay. Uh, do you think she's cheating on Desmond with this white Yes. Yes. Desmond, you heard her say, let, let me say, you heard her say, she would leave you for a white man. Desmond, you are a good man. And this, even though that's my cousin, there's some trifling women out here, and that's one of them. I never Thank said that I would leave my husband yes, you for did. any yes, color yes, race you did. because I love yes, you did. Yes, yes, you did. It doesn't matter what color they are. I would never leave yeah. my husband. That's before. what you said. What I said was what, what, what I said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, 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 this, hold on. Listen, uh, please, let me, let's hear. Y'all not making my words really messed up. What I said. No, you make them No, no. What I. No, Let's what say, I said was, if my husband died or he, a man you got You wishing that on him? Shut up, why would I wish that on him? You sound what, silly. No, that sounds silly. No, what I said was, if anything was to happen and we wasn't being, we would never be together, uh, yes, I would never be with another black man before. That's what that's I've never said why? that that's I want to leave that's my crazy. husband that's for that's a it. white man. Yes, what? That, that, that hey, crazy, hey, bro. hey, why, why do you say you would never be with a... Surely love is love, and it just wouldn't matter whether the guy was black, white, green, yellow or pink, would it? Because I just don't want to be bothered with a ghetto family that's going to come but with them. But you're ghetto. You, you, you're the most ghetto. You're family. ghetto. This okay. is ghetto. This is ghetto. This is ghetto. It doesn't matter. This is ghetto. It doesn't matter what you think. You, you, no. you, everybody. Hey, hey you just a minute. To do me. Tanisha, no. you've got uh, daughters. Yes. Um, are they allowed to play in the sun? You're happy no, with that? No, no. She tell them, don't play in the After sun. After 6 o'clock. Why? She tell them, don't drink six. coffee. That'll make you black. It will. It will. I don't drink it. It's your tea time black. She 
wants you her to have a white husband and she's grooming they them will. to they have will. a white husband. They will. Really? They will. They yeah. will. Why? They, because I they will. To let that happen. They I refuse to, to let that happen. They're not going to have to struggle. They're not going to have to struggle. They're going to be able to have, they're going to, and I'm going to make sure that they go to college. That's why we're in Iowa, because we're saving and we're going to make sure that we give them the I'm life sure that we never college. had. So yeah, they're going to be with the but white men. Why do they have to be with the, I mean, I'm confused because I'm, I'm, yes, I'm married to a, a white half Italian mm -hmm. Australian. Uh, I've got two daughters who are mixed, who are mixed race. Mm -hmm. One of them is dating, and is, he's part of the family, a black guy. So have I worked that wrong? Should I be? And they can play in the sun. Have I kind of messed up she there? No, the only reason I don't let them play in the sun, they get sunburned, and that burn, and they turn oh. dark, and when they turn dark, oh. and really sunburned? Yes. Really? Yes, Please they do. Stop it. Listen, yes. I'm trying yes. my best. Yes. You're my cousin. You a strong black man. She don't deserve you. She, she will leave you at not. the drop of a dime. She's just waiting for the opportunity. She's just waiting for the so, right. So let me, just if she don't pass this test, I'm going to leave her. So Ooh. we ain't going to leave her. When we come back, here's the question. Does Tanisha have a white sugar daddy? Is he paying her for sex? We'll find out after this. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. Uh, you're with Tanisha Desmond and Tanisha's cousins. Sherry, that's all right. Mm. For sure, no, is that all right? How, what do your friends call you, your white friends call you? Tanisha. Oh, Nisha. We grew up calling her Tanisha or Nisha. It doesn't matter. Since she's moved to Iowa, she wants you to call, call me Tanisha. Tanisha. I refuse. I, I refuse. Well, just tell how you say it. Too. What's the problem? Mm -hmm. It just. Tanisha? Because they want to say Tanisha. 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 That's she has so a problem. Yellow. I mean, just really. All right, can I? Just, lots What's of people have got. Instead of everybody shouting. Now, look, you, you said about blonde hair because mm -hmm. um, it's pretty, etc. Now, this young lady here who's stunning. She has blonde hair. Stand up. She has blonde hair. Is that okay? It looks good on her. Is that okay? Yeah. And you see her complexion? It works perfectly. Good not her complexion, so it ain't working, boo. It ain't working. <laughs> I'm not even that blonde. I'm not even that blonde. I'm not even that blonde. I just... Who hurt you? Like, what? Who hurt you? That's a good question. Who hurt you? That's all I want to know. That's it. That's I've all. never, I, I've, no one has hurt me. What it is is that if I want to be different, it's okay for a black person to act white. Yes, it is. Because, yes, it's white people. That, it's white people that act black every day. Hey, just a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I actually half black, half white. So okay. I grew up seeing both sides of that. Exactly. My white side of the family is nothing pretty. My black side of the family, actually a lot more of them are well off compared to my other side of the family. Somewhere down the line, but your mother and your father or whoever is the white person that, that, that mixed you together, they end up being with the white person. So, so what's your, so that lets you know, that is that she's going to leave, what is that? She's planning to leave you, Desmond. Wake up, she is planning to leave you. She's hey, hey, planning to leave you. No one's ever heard me. She's planning to leave you. Just personal experience, I'm sitting here letting you know, growing mm -hmm. up with white people and black people, that I know for a fact that, from personal experiences, there was a lot of bad things going on with my Caucasian half of the family as opposed to my African-American half of the family. Thank you. She's so, crazy, too. Thank you. Let me All right. You need to let her go. All right. You need to let her Hang on. I'm speaking in behalf of the black ladies. You right. speaking about ghetto mm -hmm. on the bottom of your hill? Choose <laughs> that label and put, and pull off that wig and you will see your natural thing. cool with the white people do you ever get fall into the trap of telling black jokes she tells black jokes not just you know kiki ki and like that she tells stuff to degrade us we gotta yeah hello i just want to say when i look up here what i see is a collection of beautiful black people mm -hmm. and i'm sorry that you cannot recognize it i wish you can appreciate what you have because let me tell you i grew up in grammar school i was a one of few black people in a white class. And that does not stop me. I'm comfortable in my skin and I wish you were too. I'm educated. I have I have a I have a bachelor's, I have a master's in I have a master's in psychology, and I'm going
going to pursue my doctor, but that's not going to stop me. I'm going to be comfortable with my skin. I wish you were the same. I'm I wish comfortable with my skin. What, what, I, what I got on. What I wear. Uh, all right. Okay. Hey, I know lots of people want to... Yeah. Oh. I, I have one thing to say. This isn't even an issue of her thinking black people can't excel. Her family is full of people who are college graduates, yeah. who have went on to life to do wonderful, beautiful things. Right. It doesn't, she has an issue with herself and nothing that no one says to her. You can talk about her until you turn white. It's not <laughs> going to help her situation. Okay. She All needs right. mental health. Okay. I'm happy with what I am. I'm uh, happy with no, my you're hair. Not. I'm no, happy you're not. with my hair. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yes. Hey, one of, the things, one of the things Desmond wanted to know is about you and this so-called sugar daddy. You did a lie detector test, so I think it's time we got to the lie detector result. Right. Now, joining us, joining us is our white private investigator and polygraph examiner, <laughs> Tim Acosta. All right, so Tim, are you ready with the results? Yes, I am. Tanisha, we asked you, have you had intercourse with the white man you label as your friend? You said no. Tim? Almost three years ago, I decided to move from Chicago to Iowa to escape the black community. I don't care for the black race. I think the white race is more educated, civilized, and sophisticated. I'm embarrassed to be black. I want the white race to embrace me and treat me as if I was white. My husband and my cousins think that I have a white sugar daddy, but I don't. He's just a good friend that takes care of me. Now, this sugar daddy of yours, this... I, I don't have a sugar daddy. Well, well, I don't know. He gives you money for what? I clean up this man's house, okay? What you cleaning his bedroom? No, I'm not. Do you think she's cheating on Desmond with this yes. white man? Yes. You heard her say she would leave you for a white man. One of the things Desmond wanted to know is about you and this so-called sugar daddy. You did a lie detector test, so I think it's time we got to the lie detector result. Right. So, Tim, are you ready with the results? Yes, I am. Tanisha, we asked you, have you had intercourse with the white man you label as your friend? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Tanisha was being truthful. Never. It better been. We I asked better been. you. It better been. It better we been. asked you, since being in a relationship with Desmond, have you accepted money from any man for sex? You said no. Tim? Tanisha was being truthful. Oh, you better been. You better we been. asked Tanisha, did you move to Iowa to be closer to a man other than Desmond? You said no. no. Tim? Tanisha was being truthful. Oh, no. You better be. You're going to be a rat for you. I, we no, are I, I still, I, I still, Hang on, I'm let's still keep going, this. Desmond. Would you leave your husband for a white man? We asked Tanisha next. She said no. Tim? If the dollars is right. Tanisha was being truthful. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too, but we are the wig and stand here. Okay. okay. When we go thing. back. During your relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man besides Desmond? You said no. Tim? Tanisha was being truthful. All right. You're so lucky. So, um, so lucky. I love you. So you. So, I can understand and, and I commend you as a mother for moving your children and your family to somewhere where they're safer and where they can do well. Now, that, there's not, I don't think anybody has a problem with that. But, I mean, I was brought up, like this young lady too, with a black parent and a white step parent. I have mixed biracial sisters and what have you. And I can't say that good or bad clings to any skin colour. Right. It, it's just, you know... I've, I totally get you may well have been very traumatized living in the area that you did in, in Chicago, but trust me, there are areas in white cities with all white folk or Hispanic it's folk. Or, Chicago's not there. But, but you can go anywhere. It's, it's not the, the, the crime right. and what you went through isn't just an issue about skin color or race. Right. Why is this this white talking or right. white looking or black talking why or black can't, looking? Why can't they can just accept me for who I am? This not you. If but I want to be not you. you. If I want to wear wigs, if I want to wear no, my no, contacts, I agree. Why I can't agree. I? Why can't I, I be who I want to be? I agree. You can't. I wear wigs too. I wear wigs too. You can't. I wear wigs. I wear wigs. I wear wigs. I wear contacts. But I don't down my own race when I 
I like to wear blonde. I like to do other things. I don't doubt my people. You and let me that. tell you something. You can you can wear that that wig and, and get it as white and high as you want to. Guess what? White people still see you as black. Yeah. <laughs> but they are not intimidated by me. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Uh, okay. She would be in the ghetto if it wasn't for that hard work at <gasps> black man right there. That's a good no. is never gonna finish not, you're right. absolutely right you can be you can look how you want to look and what have you can I just suggest to you with uh, you know and I have friends white black every color of the damn rainbow <laughs> the, the the blonde wig actually makes you look more black right <laughs> I said the same thing you thank you that's ghetto we will be right back see you after this <laughs> picture. Now, this is Shay and her cousin Seth. These two grew up like brother and sister, but today Shay's here to uncover a possibly terrible truth. She suspects her once beloved cousin Seth is a liar and a thief who, so who stole her $2,000 engagement ring, yeah. flat screen TV, Whoa. and even her family's PlayStation. Whoa. So let's take a look at how this situation is ripping this once happy family apart. I believe in my heart that my cousin Seth is a thief. When Seth asked me to move in, I opened my doors to him. He repaid me by stealing my flat screen, my PlayStation, and my $2,000 engagement ring. It is tearing our family apart because everybody in my family is convinced he is a thief. Nobody wants to be around him because we're afraid he's going to take stuff from us. My cousin Billy tried to warn me because she is convinced that he stole from her too. It hurts me to say it because Seth is my family. He is my blood, but he can't be trusted. I told Shay that he had stolen my jewelry, my money, my kids' stuff, but she would not listen. Seth tried to blame my kids for the things he stole. That's the worst part. The bottom line is we all know he did it. Honestly, I hope he passes this test because I miss him every single day. But if I find out he's lied to me, to my face, I have to walk away from him. Right. <laughs> now, as we saw, mm -hmm. Shay isn't the only family member who suspects that Seth is a thief. Sitting in our audience is Shay and Seth's cousin, Billy. And you're saying you, you tried to warn. I did, I did. He stole my rings, my Nintendo, money. Same thing as her. All the stuff that you could sell on, you know. What do you think he stole him? He stole my ring, my $2,000 engagement ring. How, how do you know that? Because he's the only one who had keys to my house. You even checked pawn shops? I went said? to pawn shops. I went all to we Craigslist. Did it all. And what did he say? Oh, no, I wouldn't do that. Lies, lies, lies. What happens at family gatherings, then? That's exactly if he it. Goes, Everybody if, hides their yeah. things if Seth's going to be around. We have to lock him up. He's just not invited. And here's another thing. It's so bad that if he's there, I won't go. Right, Why? right. Why? Yeah, we stay because home. I don't want to worry about him stealing none. We feud over this. Because he can't just be a man and tell me the truth. <laughs> Well, Seth is backstage, and he's told my producers over and over again that he wants to fix this family. So, everyone, there are always two sides to every story. Please welcome Seth. <laughs> oh! Hi. Oh. Seth, how does it feel to be branded a thief? I mean, it's, it's real frustrating. It's, 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 it's extremely, like, you know, it's, it's demeaning. Yeah. Have you stolen anything? No, I have not. I've never you're stolen lying. anything you're in your life. No. For all I know, I c how do I know they're not they're not just We're blaming just me for something they did? You know what I mean? Why would maybe we steal our own stuff? Maybe. Dad? But you Why know what? Would we steal like our she's, own stuff? Like she's trying to say she don't party. Like she steal. doesn't party, party ever. Party. That is true, but then, other people okay, do there. Yeah. Yeah. 
I You're said, what are you saying? Hang on, let's by nine let's, o'clock. Let's, you've accused oh, Seth of a lot of things. So I want to hear him defend himself. So what yep. did you say? They party. Yeah, they do party. Who, who doesn't party? So you're saying... They're so busy partying, they don't notice someone take their flat screen TV. No, but, uh, yeah, right. but all it takes right. is invite right. the wrong person I, over you know, one I'm, time. I'm just, you invite I don't the wrong have time person party. over. I have a grand Hang on, hey, 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 hey. So last night he sat down with Tim Acosta, our private investigator and polygraph examiner. Tim, are you ready? Where is the Okay, so as usual, Tim, I read out the question and what Seth said, and you're going to tell us whether it's true or not. Seth, we asked you, did you take Shay's engagement ring? You said no. Tim? I believe in my heart that my cousin Seth is a thief. When Seth asked me to move in, I opened my doors to him. He repaid me by stealing my flat screen, my PlayStation, and my $2,000 engagement ring. My cousin Billy tried to warn me because she is convinced that he stole from her too. I told Shay that he had stolen my jewelry, my money, my kids' stuff, but she would not listen. Have you stolen anything? No, they don't have any proof. That's not what I asked. I asked, have you ever stolen anything from anybody? No, I have not. Huh? Okay, so as usual, Tim, I read out the question and what Seth said, and you're going to tell us whether it's true or not. Seth, we asked you, did you take Shay's engagement ring? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Seth was being truthful. <laughs> we asked Seth, did you take Shay's flat screen TV? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Seth was being truthful. Oh, what now? What now? We asked you, did you take Hold Shay's... On. Hold on. Hold on. We asked you, Seth, did you take Shay's PlayStation? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Seth was being truthful. Oh. We asked you... We asked you, did you take Billy's jewelry? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Seth was being truthful. Oh. Yeah, no. See, we asked you... Asking. We asked you, did you take Billy's money? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Seth was being truthful. We asked you... Did you take Billy's Nintendo? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Seth was being truthful. <laughs> see, see, they should have took the polygraph. Now, somebody took just our a stuff. Just somebody a minute. Somebody took it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone else took it. You've branded Seth a thief. You know. Uh, whoa, 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 Billy. Because you've had your say. Okay. You've branded, both of you have branded Seth a liar and a thief. His grandmother hides the bags. He's not welcome at family things. Everybody says hi. He's got a name. Everybody in town's talking about it. His oh, name what? has been slandered. Tim, this is a truthful young man as far as these questions are concerned? Absolutely, Tricia. He has no idea who stole those items. He did not do it. Oh. Oh. And, all, and all that accusations for what? You know, for what? Right. Billy, um... I know Shay, better. what do you want to say? I'm sorry. I'm glad that we could do you the service of being on national TV and, and to say that you are innocent of those things. Shay, you've <laughs> said sorry and that you, you feel bad about it. Billy? I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we hope you enjoy today's show. Does someone in your family hate their own race? Does someone in your family blame their race for all of their problems in life? Well, if so, call me, one 855 trisha I want to thank you for watching. There will be more truth tomorrow.